What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Hurt, coming to you with another episode of Afterlife, where we talk about anything and everything that we feel like talking about today. Today's no different. We're going to reach in that bag of goodies and subjects and material and thing, and we're going to talk about it a little bit. What do you say? All right, let's do it. So, today we're going to talk about running up store and locking up. So, if any of you on my page has ever been locked up, you know what it is to get store, or you've seen other people try to get store from others that don't have shit. You've they've just never got shit. They just they've never gotten store. So they will go to somebody, usually vulnerable, usually not smart or whatever. And they will try to run up their store. They'll try to fucking get whatever they can get out of you. Whether it's coffee, snacks, fucking not coffee, candy, fucking noodles. Uh, all that's currency in prison. That's all money or whatever. So they're going to try to get whatever they can get out of the person. And then they're going to either try to double up on somebody. So they're going to put a down payment on somebody else so they already got they're gonna owe two for one from that one person anything you get from somebody in prison it's automatic two for one so now they owe someone two for one so now they're gonna go to somebody else and try to put a down payment because they got certain things whatever so they're gonna be like look i got this can you give me you know double and I'll pay you back on store day. So now that's three for one. You just did two for one from another dude. So now you're making a down payment to somebody else to get more food, promising that you're going to pay them on store day. So nine times out of ten when somebody's doing this, they're either using or they're gambling. So they're trying to win everything back or they're just like, fuck it, I'm going to go get high They're not going to do nothing like, you know, I'll pay them back eventually or whatever. Um, Two things are going to happen. You're going to smoke it up. You're going to shoot it up. You're going to freaking snort it up. You're going to, you know, you're going to do everything under the sun to get high. And now you owe three for one and two for one. Or you're going to go and take that shit to the gambling table trying to double up or win at the gambling table. And you lose everything. You just lost it all. You just, you lost it to gain. And nine times out of ten, you probably owe more. Because in spades, you can lose everything in seconds. And on top of that, you got to pay back whatever that you couldn't pay. That's how quick it happens. That's why they say don't gangbang, don't gamble, and don't get addicted to drugs in prison. So now... He owes two for one with one person. He owes three for one with another person. Now he just gambled it all away and he has nothing to show for. And most likely he owes more at that poker table because he just lost everything and he couldn't pay up what he fucking already owed. So now you owe three people, if not fucking seven, no, what? spades four people so now you owe fucking five people now three people at the table two that you just got two for one and three for one so now you owe seven six people pretty much so usually when this happens one of two things happens they're gonna be like look somebody's gonna hear something it's just it's it's regardless it's bound to happen it's gonna fucking happen somebody's gonna hear something they're gonna be like look such and such was at the poker table didn't you just give them something today or whatever because like most of the time they're not smart they're not gonna hold on to it they're not gonna be like okay look you know wait a couple days till it heats off then i'll go at the poker table or i'm gonna wait a week and then i'll go get high no it happens that day um someone's gonna find out Someone's going to hit them up and they're going to be like, look, bro, you just got something for me. But I hear over here, you got something from Joe Blow Schmo over here. You owe him two for one. You just put a down payment for me. So you owe me three for one. What's this shit I hear? You went to the poker table and you just got all that. You lost. 
So not only did you lose my shit, you went and freaking bet on it, and you still owe these three motherfuckers for shit that you didn't even have. What's up with this? So now they're going to do, they're either going to take your TV, they're going to take your shoes, they're going to take anything of value, deodorant, toothpaste, anything of value pretty much, they're going to take, and they're going to be like, until you pay me back, we're going to hold on to this stuff. So now, the other three people that he played poker with are probably going to do the same thing. They're going to tell him, we're going to do great bodily harm to you. We're going to catch you in the showers. We're going to do something to you in the showers. Or we're going to do something to you in your room or away from cameras or whatever. So now, you got fucking six people that are after you for just some shit that you started with one person. So, usually what happens now is, dude's gonna get ballsy. He's not gonna do something to the other people, like, he's probably scared for his life now. He's got fucking six people on his ass about shit that he lost between two other people, and then three more, so, five people, sorry, I can't count. But, so now, he's gonna go and start shit, he's gonna go start a fight, he's gonna go and act crazy, or he's gonna make a huge scene, but he's not going to really fight. He's going to start shit like he's going to fight, but he's going to be so loud and waving his hands so obnoxious, the COs are going to be on you like that. They're going to be just on him. So now they're either going to lock him up or they're going to put him in the hole or whatever because he's causing a scene. He's, you know, what, what do they call it? Like you could be sanctioning a riot or you could be, you know, fighting, all that shit. So you're going to go to the hole. Now, when he gets to the hole, he's going to most likely be like, I got a problem with this person. I got a problem here. Like, you got to get me out of here. Like, or he could just be like, I owe some debts or whatever, but he's probably not going to do that because like where I was at, the COs are going to be like, tough shit, motherfucker. Get out there, go be somebody. You owe them. That ain't our problem. So he's going to be like, I got a problem with somebody in here. You got to get me out of here. Or I'm in fear for my life. You already in the hole. So it's like, so nine times out of 10, they're going to move him to some other place, some other block and boom, he just ran up two people for store and he just bet on freaking spades lost all that stuff so those five people oh well see ya he got moved to a different block so now he's got a new tab he's got a new bill whatever and he's most likely gonna go somewhere else and do the same shit so that's running up store and locking up that's what i've seen happen or whatever so comment down below share subscribe like Hopefully you guys enjoyed this stuff. I enjoy making these videos. So this is your boy Hurt coming to you with another Hurt Out.